I want to briefly describe interactive digital experiments that we've created for chemical engineering education. These are free. They play directly in browsers, and they're available on our website, the Learn Chemistry website. And these are simulations that could be used in class. The idea is that it may take 30 or 40 minutes to carry out. And they're available in three areas, heat transfer, the first one. The three heat transfer experiments to date are all mimics of physical experiments that have been created at Washington State University. And the descriptions of physical experiments are available on the website in the chemical engineering department there. The second area, fluid mechanics. We currently have four digital experiments for fluid mechanics. Two of these, the hydraulic loss and the Venturi meter are also mimics of physical experiments created at Washington State University. And then finally, we have an additional nine experiments that are designed for material energy balance courses, though some could certainly be used in thermodynamics course or separations course. And so let me show you now on website one of the experiments to get a better idea of what's involved. So here's an example. This is a heat transfer experiment. This, this system allows valves to be adjusted to change the flow rates. And we're flowing hot and cold liquids. So if I start the pumps, you'll see the flow going through the system. And then we can measure the flow rates just using a stopwatch or phone and measuring the number of milliliters collected over that time. If I stop the pumps, then I can measure temperature. So I hold a thermometer over each of the beakers, I can measure the temperature. So we can make measurements, determine heat transfer coefficients, etc. And so what I want to show you is that each of these simulations has a worksheet. Then when I click it, it downloads it, and the worksheet then shows details of how what experiments to carry out. We have brief directions that just tell you in general what to do. We have details that in this case are small because the equations and everything is in the worksheet. And then the about section tells who program the simulation and that we were supported by National Science Foundation. This also has explanations because there's more than one type of experiment and also allows us to reset the beakers and start over. So each of these experiments, these 16 that we currently have available are slightly different, but the idea is similar in that it's something students can do make measurements, do calculations, get a better understanding in this case of heat transfer and heat exchangers. We have additional experiments that we're currently preparing. So here I've listed the experiments that we will be adding to the website. The first six of these will be on the website in a few weeks probably. And then the next three will take longer. We expect the course to add additional digital experiments after that, but we should have about 22 of these available in this case by the end of August in 2025.